Today, he has just released a new model. Its features are incredible. It can see, it has emotions, it has a vision and voice capability like never before. There is no tool presently that can match what this tool is all about. Let's check the introduction out. Hi everyone, thank you, thank you. It's great to have you here today. Today I'm going to talk about three things. That's it. We will start with why it's so important to us to have a product that we can make freely available and broadly available to everyone. And we're always trying to find out ways to reduce friction so everyone can use ChatGPT wherever they are. So today, we'll be releasing the desktop version of ChatGPT and the refreshed UI that makes it simpler to use, much more natural as well. But the big news today is that we are launching our new flagship model and we are calling it GPT 4.0. The special thing about GPT-4.0 is that it brings GPT-4 level intelligence to everyone, including our free users. We'll be showing some live demos today to show the full extent of the capabilities of our new model, and it improves on its capabilities across text, vision, and audio. If you're excited about what is coming next, please subscribe to this channel for more. Let's move on. So one of the key capabilities we're really excited to share with you today is real-time conversational speech. Let's just get a demo fired up. So I'm thinking out a phone. If you are wondering about this wire, it's so we have consistent internet. And if you see, there's this little icon on the bottom right of the ChatGPT app, and this will open up GPT-40's audio capabilities. Hey, ChatGPT, I'm Mark. How are you? Oh, Mark. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How about you? Hey, so I'm on stage right now. I'm doing a live demo. And frankly, I'm feeling a little bit nervous. Can you help me calm my nerves a little bit? Oh, you're doing a live demo right now? That's awesome. <laughs> Just take a deep breath. And remember, you're the expert. Here. I like that suggestion. Let me try a couple deep breaths. Can you give me feedback on my breaths? OK, here I go. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, slow down. Go a bit there. Mark, you're not a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> breathe in <laughs> for a count of four. Okay, uh, let me try again. So I'm going to breathe in deeply. And then, and then for four, and then exhale slowly. Okay, I'll try again. Breathing in and breathe out. <sighs> That's it. How do you feel? I feel a lot better. Thank you so much. <laughs> So Mark, you've been working on these capabilities for a while now. Can you tell us a bit how it's different from voice mode? Right. So if you've used our voice mode experience before, you'll notice a couple key differences. First, you know, you can now interrupt the model. You don't have to wait for it to finish your turn before you can start speaking. And you know, you can just butt in whenever you want. Second, the model is real-time responsiveness. So that means that you don't have this awkward two to three second lag before you wait for the model to give a response. And finally, the model picks up on emotion, right? When I was breathing super hard there, it could tell and it knew, hey, you might want to calm down a little bit. You're kind of running a little bit too fast. So, you know, it really has that capability across the board to perceive your emotion. Not only that, though, the model is able to generate voice in a variety of different emotive styles. And it really has a wide dynamic range. So I'm going to fire up another demo awesome. for that. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, ChatGPT, how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for asking. How about you? Pretty good. What's up? So my friend uh, Barrett here, he's been having trouble sleeping lately. And uh, I want you to tell him a bedtime story about robots and love. Oh, a bedtime story about robots and love? I got you covered. Gather round, Barrett. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, there was a robot named Bite. Bite was a curious robot. I Always like explore. You started this story, but I want a little bit more emotion in your voice, a little bit more drama. Got it. Let's add some drama. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, there was a robot named. No, Bite. no, no, ChatGPT. I really want maximal emotion, like maximal expressiveness, much more than you were doing before. Understood. 
Let's amplify the drama. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, there was a robot named Byte. Byte so can was... Can you do this in a robotic voice now? Initiating dramatic robotic voice. <laughs> Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, there was a robot named Byte. Byte was a curious robot, always exploring new Sun circuits. Uh, Barrett here, calm down a little bit. Can you end the story, <laughs> um, but do it in a singing voice? <sighs> and so Byte found another robot friend, and they lived circuitly ever after. Thank you so much. <laughs> I definitely feel a lot more relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> now let's look at the vision capability ChatGPT can now see is very aware of the environment. Let's check this out. Yeah, absolutely. Like, as you can see, you know, you can chat with ChatGPT in real time, but you can also interact with it um, with video as well. Okay, so let me boot up ChatGPT. Hey, ChatGPT. Hello there. How's it going? It's going really well. Today, I'd really like your help solving a math problem. I'm all ears. What math problem can I help you tackle today? So I'm going to write down a linear equation on a sheet of paper, and I'll show you. And then I'd love your help working me through it. But importantly, don't tell me the solution. Just help give me hints along the way. So, ChatGPT, what equation did I write down there? Ah, I see it now. You wrote down 3x plus 1 equals 4. Yep, Let's exactly. Work... So what's the first step I should take to try to solve this? The first step is to get all the terms with x on one side and the constants on the other side. So what do you think we should do with that plus 1? Okay, I'm going to try to subtract 1 from both sides and then I'll see what I get. Great idea. Perfect. Now, what do you get when you subtract 1 from both sides? Okay, so ChatGPT, this is what I ended up with. How does this look? Spot on. Now you've isolated the term with x on one side, and it looks like 3x equal 3. What do you think we should do next to solve for x? I'm not sure. Can you give me another hint? Of course. You have 3x, and you want to find the value of x. Think about what operation would undo multiplication. Is it subtraction? Close, but think of the opposite of multiplication, because 3x means 3 times x. Okay, I think it's division. Let me try to divide both sides by 3, and let me see what I get. Bingo! Go ahead and divide both sides by 3. Okay, so ChatGPT, this is what I ended up with. How does this look? It looks perfect. You've solved it, and x equals 1. Nicely done. The last but not the least feature we are looking at today is the fact that ChatGPT can now translate languages in real time. This is absolutely incredible. Check it out. Hey, ChatGPT, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for asking. How about you? How's cool. your day going? I'm uh, doing great. So I would like you to function as a translator. I have a friend here who only speaks Italian. And I only speak English. And uh, every time you hear English, I want you to translate it to Italian. And if you hear Italian, I want you to translate it back to English. Is that good? Perfetto. <laughs> Mark, io mi chiedo se le balene potessero parlare, cosa ci direbbero? Mike, she wonders if whales could talk, what would they tell us? Um, they might ask, uh, how do we solve linear equations? Potrebbero chiederci... Come risolviamo le equazioni limiari? <laughs> Sicuramente sì. <laughs> Certainly yes. Great, <laughs> looks like it works. <laughs> All right, so the next one is from Burrito John 78 who asks, <laughs> can you tell <laughs> what you're feeling just by looking at your face? Barrett, do you want to give this one a try? <laughs> Absolutely, let's try it out. <laughs> hey, ChatGPT. Hey there, what's up? How can I brighten your day today? 
Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna show you um, a selfie of what I look like, and then I'd like you to try to see what emotions I'm feeling based on how I'm looking. Sounds like a fun challenge. Go ahead and show me that selfie, and I'll put my emotional detective hat on. Okay, so here's me. So what kind of emotions do you think I'm feeling? Ah, uh, there we go. It looks like you're feeling pretty happy and cheerful with a big smile and maybe even a touch of excitement. Whatever's going on, it seems like you're in a great mood. Care to share the source of those good vibes? <laughs> 